In this problem, we'll need to use the distributive property multiple times, so we're going to start inside of the square braces. We'll start by distributing the 3 through the parentheses x plus 1. So we'll leave outside the square brackets for now because we're working inside our grouping symbols. And 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 1 will be plus 3. Then we have our minus 5 inside our square brackets. Continuing, we'll still leave what's outside the square brackets until we finish simplifying our brackets. And we have 3x is the only x term, but we have a 3 minus 5, that's the same as plus a negative 5. 3 plus negative 5 is you take the difference between them, which is 2, but because the 5 has the larger absolute value, it will be plus a negative 2. And now we're ready to look outside our square brackets because these are not like terms, so we cannot simplify inside the brackets any further. So we're ready to distribute the negative 2 through our brackets. So we have the 6, then we have a negative 2 times 3x, and we have the negative 2 times negative 2 when we distribute this minus 2 multiplied by the 3x and by the negative 2. So that gives us 6, and then negative 2 times positive 3 is minus 6x, and here a negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 4. Combining like terms, we can see that we have two constants. We have a 6 and a 4. 6 plus 4 is 10, and we still have our minus 6x, so that our result is 10 minus 6x.